Namaste Libra, welcome in, welcome in, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Placements. Thank you very, very much for tuning in. This is your tarot reading, it's timeless, so whenever you come across, it's a perfect timing for you to find these messages and hopefully resonate with them. If you do resonate with the messages, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Trust me, you will feel it once you see and hear this is my story, okay? And um, yeah. Keep in mind that it is a general, so you may not resonate with it, but that's totally fine. If it's not your message, then it is definitely for somebody else. Anyhow, let's dive into your reading, my lovely Libra. Make yourself comfortable and just enjoy the show. Thank you very, very much for bearing with me, being patient with me after I took a little break. But I am back on track. Bottom of the deck for you, overall energy, Ace of Swords. We have Libra, your energy, your energy. And this is very interesting. So uh, you should go to my TikTok and check out the mini reading that I did recently for Libra. I believe yesterday or the day before, uh, you got very similar messages as here. So... Um, Ace of Swords is very strong energy. It's about realization and having the truth, realizing the truth, finding something out. And you are in that kind of sphere at this very moment. This is the representation of the aha moment. When it comes to your messages, you have the moon, Pisces energy and we are still in Pisces season. It is a major arcana number of 18, which equals 9. So I feel like you are really figuring something out, having a big, strong realization, something that was unknown to you, you were unaware of. It's coming to light and it is bringing balance, something that you really crave for. In your spread, middle of your spread, we have three pentacles lovely earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. You might be working together with an earth sign, or you might be the one who have prominent earth in your chart, but this is all about teamwork, and it's about start, and, you know, it's kind of a fresh energy because it, it is describing the start of a teamwork, something that it's going to be creating, something that you are working on with somebody, and the both parties are putting to effort. So, um, I'm liking this. Until now, Five of Swords, Air Energy. So uh, something is giving you a headache. Something is not giving you a peace of mind. You have troubled mind over something. There is something you are overthinking. And I will skip just right into the clarification to see what is that really. But let's start with the Moon Energy and have a look into... What might be coming to light for you, Libra? Okay, we have sharing and the moon again. Okay, so you definitely might be having some Pisces in your chart. Uh, can be possible or even that this Pisces season is very important for you, especially when it comes to sharing, especially when it comes to energy sharing and, uh, you know, sharing uh, the good qualities and the bad manners, sharing everything that you might be having and bringing into to the table, excuse me. Bottom of the deck, we have innocence, which could be a representation of your energy, uh, very childlike energy, innocent energy, very loving and caring and nurturing. With another clarification, double one of the moon, uh, something is really hidden here. Something is going on and you are not aware of that. And I feel like you see the positivity and you are being optimistic. That's why the sharing is coming through as well because you bring everything you have to the table, Libra. And 
And there is a deeper meaning between this. Okay, let's clarify sharing and the moon with another message because I'm very curious. One step in a time. It's your energy, your energy, Libra. One step in a time. Really thinking it through. Hmm. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, we have pressure. Underneath that, we have blooming, flowering, and growing. You might be feeling under pressure at this very moment, but still, you want to give it all. You want to be there. You want to be present. And something is cooking in the background. It doesn't have necessarily to be something negative. It's just something that you do not know yet. And this is something that will be happening for you, that this experience, once it comes through for you, Libra, once you get aware and cautious, cautious, conscious, excuse me, about what it is, uh, you will just not rush as you used to. And you will really take your time to think about it before you actually make an action. One step in a time. Beautiful energy. <clears throat> okay, let's keep on clarifying here. The Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles. Okay, I can see that you are in a connection, definitely. This is a partnership. It is... A connection can be a loved one, can be, you know, about a business and career, but you are definitely working with somebody in a teamwork. And you guys do get along until you don't. Um, I would say in a, in a general picture, you do get along, but it can get quite stressful. But um, we also have the energy that is fulfilling you, the last piece of a puzzle. So you are into progress of building and creating something with somebody. And you need to be patient until you get the last piece of a puzzle. And maybe that is exactly what is describing the energy before about the moon and what is yet uncovered. Um, because that will give you probably the peace of mind. And you will see it clearly. You will have the bigger picture. Uh, it can get quite stressful because there is going to be a lot on your back. Bottom of the deck, we have kindness. Always a lovely reminder that even though through all of the differences you might be having with this person, even though through the different type of opinions uh, that can cause stress for you, Libra, uh, or whatever the person might be triggering inside of you, uh, Always keep in mind that even though the differences, you are very quite similar. And it's definitely not a coincidence that you are standing next to each other in order to create something and make it count as the bigger picture. Five of Swords. That air energy we all do not like. Troubles. Yeah, it's exhausting. That is literally uh, the first clarification. Exhaustion. It's exhausting. It's almost like I feel you feel. It's eating you alive. And we have transformation. Yeah, this is changing. This is changing. So very soon... I believe you will be saying bye-bye to this energy. You will step out of that zone of overthinking because uh, you will get that piece of a puzzle and something will be um, resolved here. Bottom of the deck, we have harmony. And underneath that, we have letting go. And they just go hand in hand beautifully together. Let's see what love universe messages are for you, Libra. This is the rhythm of my life. My life. Mm -hmm. 
One more. <clears throat> Start where you are. And it's saying the great thing about feeling deep, profound, earth-shaking love is that you can start with anyone. That's a deeper level. If they once loved you, they still do. I don't know who needs to hear that. All there is to love has been there all along. Potential advice that you need to hear. Okay, you got the two of them really jumping out. <laughs> Absorb, take it all in before you make a move. Exactly, that is that. <clears throat> One step in a time before you actually go and make the reaction, before you make a move. Just step a little back and take a closer look. Take a minute to, you know, gather those thoughts together. So we are having, take it all in before you make a move, act, don't react, experience the flow. Expand, discard the shell you have outgrown, reach out, create a network, step up. Okay, I will leave this here. Thank you very much for being here, sharing a little bit of time and energy with me. I truly do appreciate that. Once again, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe if you already have not. And I will catch you guys pretty, pretty soon. Have a great evening, day, and night. Enjoy.